It's been absolutely fantastic to be hosting the United States Olympic Committee during Games Time and the Paralympics. We've had some really exciting, high profile teams. So UEL will host the basketball team, the men's and the women's. It also hosts um, Taekwondo, so we've been down to a few of those sessions. To have all of a sudden the Olympics and then Team USA stay at UEL was really quite huge. Um, especially with such names as Kobe Bryant and LeBron James coming to sports stock, um, that really did put uh, a lot of excitement around UEL and especially for us sports journalism students we do a lot of work with them so it's a real privilege to actually be a part of the university at such an important time. It's a beautiful, beautiful chance to so had a chance to walk around a little bit and uh, check out some of the facilities, the training room, the weight room and so forth. It's a very long time. We know when we have the athletes of the calibre of the US basketball team uh, that the equipment that we've got is absolutely world class. That means that we have world class facilities for our students, for our staff to use and also the local community. And a message for the kids of East London that love basketball. Right, keep playing, have fun doing it and uh, you know, look forward to seeing them in the NBA one day. The basketball stars who are used to, I suppose, excellence you could say in, in the States and the fact that they are happy with their um, accommodation uh, in London but also their training facilities at UEL is really, you know, it's really nice to see. Um, this is our newsroom that we're using to produce USA Daily, which is the magazine that uh, the Team USA produce that goes out to the world's press and to all the athletes and their families. I think it has two million readers and, um, and we are contributing to that along with some Penn State students and the rest of the Team USA writing staff. Uh, Team USA is staying here at the University of East London and I'm a student there studying sports journalism. So we go working together with them here and basically we're producing and writing for USA Daily. I've got to uh, produce different, a different publication each day or a different um, article each day on Team USA. So that's whether it's cycling or swimming or athletics, different sports. My sport is handball, which isn't that big in the United States or in England at the moment, but um, it's looking well. Uh, GB hasn't won any game yet, but I hope they will. And maybe someday I will be working for handball. So we have a combination of graduate students who have just finished their sports journalism degree. We also have some second year students and some first year students. So they get to work on a kind of international scale. They also get to write as an American style as well as UK style. But it's the whole intensity of working as journalists for the duration of the games. Opportunities to get involved with professional services such as media, all sorts of volunteering opportunities, but also just getting access to elite world-class athletes has been inspiring for those students who've been able to meet them, watch them perform, watch them train. Working with Team USA and having the opportunities to go out to the States particularly has, has really opened my eyes to the many different opportunities there are available. You know, we met Lord Sebco and we met um, David Beckham um, and it was just something that came about through the UEL uh, system, so interviewing athletes, getting one-on-ones with with athletes like you know Kobe Bryant and, and Tyson Chandler, you know it, it's those types of experiences that I'll take from these Olympics. So these ten students are in a very uh, special position that they, nobody else anywhere are going to have this opportunity. It's also the first time that Team USA have used a university outside of the US. Well, for us students taking part in the Olympics, everything being arranged for us, it's a huge opportunity and. It's so much you can learn from it and taking part of it and being a part of the legacy is really something nice to do and have. One of our students, a postgraduate student, Gemma Gibbons, won a silver medal in the women's judo and we are immensely proud. So for us here at UEL, it's been an incredible atmosphere. But another UEL student, Ali Jawad, who will be representing Team GB uh, in the weightlifting. So we don't think that the buzz is going to finish for quite some weeks yet.